Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I just want to show you how to run Kubernetes locally. So Kubernetes can be run locally in a variety of ways. And one of the simplest ways is to use Docker, specifically spinning up a Dockerized Kubernetes server. And we can then interact with this Kubernetes server using the Kubernetes client, kubectl. So as an example of what we'll be able to do by the end of this video is we can list all our Kubernetes services, list our deployments. All of this is done on localhost. So everything here, our Kubernetes server, is all running on our local machine. But so to install Kubernetes locally, we first need to install Docker. And the easiest way to install Docker is by installing Docker Desktop, which is this right here, which is just a GUI that can be installed on Mac, Linux, and Windows. And I'll pull up, I'll paste the URL in the description on how to download it, but it's pretty straightforward. So it's this URL right here, and then you can see we have Docker Desktop for Mac, Windows, and Linux and it's pretty straightforward as how to install it. But so basically when you install Docker Desktop right here, it includes a standalone Kubernetes server and client. The client of course being uh, K-U-B-E-C-T-L, not really sure how you say it, but kubectl. But so after we install Docker Desktop, I have some stuff running here so yours might not look the exact same, but what we want to do is navigate to settings, which can be done up here. So it's this little gear icon in the top right, click on this. And then we want to go over to Kubernetes. You want to check enable Kubernetes. Yours won't be checked. Mine is just because I have it already enabled. And then after you check it, you'll want to go down to the bottom right of the screen over here. And actually just move it over. And then after clicking enable Kubernetes, you just want to click apply and restart at the bottom over here. And what this will do is it will build the Docker images required to run the Kubernetes server. And it also installs the kubectl client. And just if you're curious, this kubectl client so that I'm running in right here, allows us to issue commands against the Kubernetes clusters. So this includes deploying applications, inspecting clusters, things like that. And note that the installation location of this kubectl, or the Kubernetes client, is operating system dependent. So where it's installed will be different depending on if you're using Mac, Windows, or Linux. But in any case, just make sure to put this in your path variable so that you can access it from anywhere. So it'll be an executable, add it to your path, and you can run it in whatever directory. But after you've done all that, so after applying and restarting, you should just be able to run kube ectl and just start issuing commands against the Kubernetes server. So for example, I just ran get contacts. And what this, what this does is it retrieves information about all Kubernetes contacts. And essentially a context defines how to communicate with a Kubernetes cluster. And here we can see that it is Docker desktop. The cluster is Docker desktop. But that's all it takes to install Kubernetes locally. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. Um, also, consider checking out my courses in the description and also my Chrome extension called Wit Scepter. It's pretty cool. Um, but besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.